Hey, this is Dr. Steve Ganjemi, and in this video, I'm going to talk about what you do if you get injured. So this is an injury if you were, had a traumatic accident, if you sprained an ankle, or if you just had a chronic injury that keeps on creeping up on you and you're not sure what to do about it. Your, your shoulder's always bothering you when you're climbing, your knee always, always hurting when you're squatting or doing some certain mobility exercise. And we always, I already talked in a separate video about why you don't want to ice, why you need to be careful with heat. So let's build off that a little bit more now and talk about the other thing that people think a lot about when they get injured, and that is the RICE type of uh, therapy. So of the RICE acronym, rest, ice, compression, and elevation, compression is going to be one of your best lines of treatment, your best options for treatment when you get injured. So say you fell or you hurt your wrist or your wrist is just acting up and you strained, strained these ligaments and tendons in the wrist area. You don't necessarily want to go in and start really mashing around the ligaments in your wrist, especially if it's still very painful in there and be on a painful tendon or ligament. But working the muscles going into the wrist area and the forearm can be very beneficial to help stabilize and help heal up the actual area that is injured. So although I might have the pain here, I can really do some pretty good therapy here, some deep tissue work, and feel for any sore spots in my wrist, in my forearm, maybe even the palm of my hand if I landed hard on my hand, but ended up straining the wrist uh, ligaments or spraining the wrist ligaments here in my wrist. So I could work some of the deeper muscle here in my thumb or in the palm of my hand, again, along with the forearm. A lot of times if you just actually hold the area, in this case, my wrist bones, my, my two forearm bones together, and if I had less pain, I could move my wrist around like this a little bit, and if I notice less pain in my wrist, then I know that that, that 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 would be a good area to compress and support. So that's one thing nobody really thinks about when they, when they go and uh, do a certain therapy. They sort of say, oh, well, you injured right here. Let's go and work just that area right where the injury is. But a lot of times you can get much better and faster uh, recovery periods and recovery times if you look a little bit beyond that injury. So again, if I hurt my wrist here, I could hold my hand, my other hand like this around my forearm bones. And if I move my wrist now and it's like, well, that's a lot less painful than if I didn't have my hand there, I would know that would be the area that I, I would want to maybe tape for a little bit, a day or so, maybe not even that long, maybe longer, or keep a compression around, or even better perhaps, I could go in and work the spots on my forearm that is helping to diminish the pain and therefore the injury in that wrist that I just injured. And that would be the same even if I injured my shoulder. So if I hurt my shoulder, say I landed wrong or I'm climbing and I, I pull a shoulder and I notice, oh, that hurts, I could put my hand on different muscles around the area of the shoulder girdle, support them, say on my pec here, my chest muscle. And now if I notice when I lift, when I lift my arm, I have less pain in that shoulder, I know that that's gonna be a good area for me to work, even though the pain might be elsewhere in that shoulder. It's a great way to do it.